The New York Rangers have hired former Boston University head coach David Quinn to be their next head coach. I wanted to discuss this hiring today as well as could this impact their plans for the 2018 NHL Draft. We'll discuss that coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top, the New York Rangers have officially hired former Boston University coach David Quinn to be the next head coach of the New York Rangers. So as I mentioned in the opener, I want to discuss the hiring, give you a little bit of background on David Quinn if you're not familiar, and I had some thoughts on how this might impact the Rangers' plans at the 2018 NHL Draft coming up here next month. So stay tuned, we'll get into those thoughts here momentarily. First, I'll give you a little background on David Quinn in case you're not familiar with this guy. David Quinn's 51 years old. He spent the past five years coaching at Boston University. He's had a very impressive run. Uh, prior to coaching at BU, he also coached uh, briefly in the NHL as an assistant coach. He had a one-year stint with the Colorado Avalanche back when Joe Sacco was the head coach. He had one year as an assistant coach, and he also was previously the head coach at the American Hockey League level for the Lake Erie Monsters. So his overall coaching uh, scope here has been quite extensive. He's been coaching for over 20 years. David Quinn was a original first round draft pick back in the Minnesota North Stars back I believe it was 1984 uh, before trying to turn pro he ended up going to the college route instead and ended up playing three seasons with Boston University. Now it was during this time afterwards he ended up trying out for one of the I believe it was the US Olympic team and during that stretch actually discovered that he had a rare uh, blood disorder which I believe is called the Christmas disease or the Christmas disorder which uh, causes your blood to not clog properly so at that point it looked as though his uh, playing career might be over. Uh, even though the uh, medication was expensive, he was able to find uh, some meds that kind of help uh, keep him playing a little bit longer. So he did extend his playing career a couple of years. He actually signed his first and only ever pro contract as a player with the Rangers organization. Although he never played a game at the NHL level, he was only was able to play at the American Hockey League level. And I believe he had another season in the IHL uh, before he ended up calling it quits. And then it wasn't long after he started getting into coaching. So uh, David Quinn does have a little bit of history here with the Rangers organization. So David Quinn's the second coach to come out of the college ranks to get hired by the NHL team this season, followed by Jim Montgomery, who uh, just recently went to the, the Dallas Stars from the University of Denver. Not only is he the second coach this offseason from the college ranks to get hired by the NHL team, but he's the third uh, coach recently to come out of the college ranks, actually followed by Dave Haxtell as well. So that's three college coaches in the NHL here in the recent years. Uh, so obviously we're seeing a new trend of where the latest NHL coaches are coming from. So could this continue? I guess we'll see. Depends on how many other successful coaches are coming through those ranks, but it's certainly a different pattern um, to see in the NHL. And it's nice to see coaches coming from different areas as they work their way up the ranks. As I mentioned in the opener as well here, we'll get to the fact that I said I thought the Rangers might actually adjust their draft strategy here based on hiring David Quinn, or perhaps they may have already have a strategy in mind because they it's been rumored for some time that he was going to be the head coach. Uh, I did see some speculation that they actually wanted and preferred to hire coach Jim Montgomery, but he turned down their offer to go to Dallas. I mean, that's what I had read anyways. I'm not sure if there's truth to that, but I had seen that Montgomery also had interviewed with the Rangers and that he turned them down and accepted the job with Dallas. Now, uh, I, I guess we'll see if a lot of that uh, long-term turns out to be true or not. Either way, um, so there was some speculation that Quinn might not have been their first choice. Either way though, I, get, I think they're getting a pretty solid coach. But with his history at Boston University, obviously one of this year's top prospects is Brady Kachuk from Boston University. So it's obviously a player that David Quinn's very, very familiar with. As we also talked about before on the Rangers uh, season recap and off-season plan video, and even before uh, as well and during some trade speculation, um, it's been widely speculated that the New York Rangers are very likely to be active at this draft. They have a lot of picks. Uh, and they have enough picks to try to package some things up to move up higher into the first round. Uh, we've discussed that possibility before, uh, except I, we weren't really sure exactly if there was a particular player they were going to kind of zero in on here or not. Uh, but with Quinn being in the fold, you know, could they really zone in on trying to land Brady Kachuk at the draft? Now to do that, he's right now projected to go number four. That's where most of the ranking systems have him. Uh, I could see the possibility of him maybe slipping to five. It just kind of depends on 
uh, what the, all the teams uh, in the top four or five picks decide to do. There's some intriguing players in there that I think that could wiggle their way in to the top, you know, maybe four, number four spot or something. So it just kind of depends on what each team feels, what they have a need for. Um, but could we see the Rangers maybe try to move up in the draft and snag Brady Kachuk? You know, we've talked a lot about who they very well might likely draft. If they stay where they're at right now, they're more likely going to end up with a, a fairly decent defensive prospect because there's once you get past the number five spot, uh, there's a lot of pretty solid looking defensive prospects really that are ranked anywhere from like six down to about 15 to 20. There's a, there are some forwards mixed in there, but the bulk of them are defensive prospects. So, you know, obviously they could use some help on the back end. So maybe that's something they do, but with all the picks they have, you know, could we see some deals where they may end up, you know, being able to move up and try to grab a guy like Kachuk and still have some other picks to maybe grab some defensive prospects a little bit later. So it's something that would not surprise me. I have no speculation to indicate that they're actually going to do that. That's strictly just my thoughts on the history with Quinn and Kachuk. Uh, obviously, plus you combine that with the fact that it's already been speculated that they're likely going to try to move up in the draft. And it would kind of make sense if they did try to do that, that he might just be the player that they zero in on and try to get into a Ranger uniform. So let me know your thoughts on that. What are the Rangers going to do here? What do you think of the, the new coach being hired? I think David Quinn, myself, is a good man uh, for the job. I think they went down a good road. One thing that surprised me a little bit, uh, same thing with Jim Montgomery, is they give him a five-year contract. Uh, it's a little bit less common, in my opinion, for them to see giving brand new coaches with their first job longer term deals like that. But obviously, they must have a lot of faith in his abilities. Uh, typically, we see coaching contracts being more like three years. So, interesting move, but we saw the same thing with Dallas. So, maybe it's a, it's a new trend. I don't know. Um, but with a brand new coach on his first gig, you wouldn't think they'd commit so long. Really no different than having a player coming out of an entry-level deal and giving them an eight-year deal. Sometimes there's a lot of risk involved with that, and it just depends on what you've seen before to kind of indicate how their future performance is going to be. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think about the Rangers hiring David Quinn as the new head coach? And what do you think about my thoughts regarding them moving up in the draft? Could we see them try to snag a player like Brady Kachuk, who's quite familiar with the new head coach. If you're new to the channel, hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams. There's plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. If you're new to the channel as well, consider following us on Twitter. You're going to find our Twitter handle on the screen right here. We're very active on Twitter, so if you're on Twitter, please check that out. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time.